Hey, welcome back. The search for good free things can sometimes lead you in circles. That's the situation any free hosting seeker is probably familiar with. So, is there such a thing as free hosting? More importantly, what would I recommend as the best free web hosting provider? Alright, so the big question is, is there free web hosting that you can use right now? Yes and no. There are providers that can offer some sort of free hosting option, but these options are so limited and niche that in most cases, your hosted website would either have to be empty or visited by five people a month. So you'd be better off starting with a good premium shared web hosting. With that in mind, I'll offer some free solutions for particular situations first, and then recommend some more reliable premium providers. First case scenario, you want to start blogging or build a personal website to showcase your work, travels, etc. Then try out WordPress.com. Yes, it's sort of like regular WordPress, just all online. And would you look at that? you can start using it for free. This option gives you one gigabyte of storage and allows you to create unlimited pages. And you don't even need to buy a domain. Your blog will just be hosted on a WordPress subdomain. A benefit of WordPress.com is that you can use most of the tools, themes, and plugins that the regular WordPress can offer. Really useful ones and nice looking templates are naturally locked under the premium plans. So, to be fair, WordPress.com is a decent choice when you started your site or blog out. But soon, you'll outgrow the free plan. Now, WordPress.com has its premium plans once you're ready to upgrade from free web hosting. But personally, I would recommend Hostinger instead because it's more affordable and can offer more resources. I keep most of my personal websites here as well. Now, I want to talk about Hostinger pricing in general, but I'll also cover the money-back guarantee in more detail. That way, you won't even risk your money and will know what to do if the provider doesn't fit your needs. Honestly, you should just check out Hostinger for any type of website just because it's truly a cheap web hosting provider. First, while Hostinger hosting allows you to pay for hosting with cryptocurrency, Know that refunds do not apply to product purchases with digital currencies, tokens, or assets. There are also things that aren't refundable. These include redemption fees, any extra add-ons, or privacy protection. However, what's great about Hostinger is that it has automatic refund request tools, which not only let you cancel hosting easily, it also shows which services will or won't be refunded. Checking out the premium plans, they aren't just affordable, you get quite a hefty resource bundle. It's enough to run a few medium websites under one plan, so it's an affordable choice for business projects. The single plan has 50 gigabytes of SSD storage, one professional email account, unmetered bandwidth, and a free SSL certificate. As your needs grow, you can easily upgrade to a more suitable plan. Additionally, it's worth noting that Hostinger provides free weekly backups, even with its most affordable plan, offering added peace of mind. If you lack web management experience, don't worry. Hostinger actually has a truly easy dashboard to use. In the last year alone, Hostinger made so many improvements to its control panel that it is honestly impressive. Navigating the H panel, that's how Hostinger calls it, is a breeze. It's user friendly and intuitive, reminiscent of a C panel but with a more refined and streamlined interface. You'll find tools like auto updates, WordPress management, or even a full on website builder available for free. As I mentioned in my latest Hostinger review, Hostinger is cheap but definitely not slow. Let's set up two website examples. One will have just a freshly installed WordPress, no extra plugins or anything. The other is a custom e-commerce website with products, images, and WooCommerce installed. The results? The empty WordPress site took only 0.9 seconds, while my online store site fully loaded in 1.3 seconds. To compare this to something, Google currently recommends loading under 2.5 seconds to get the best SEO results. The use of new technology and SSDs helped Hostinger deliver affordable speed. 
Moving on, WordPress.com was a great option for blogs, but what if you want to run regular WordPress or maybe even manage everything through the good old cPanel? Then 000 Webhost comes to your aid. It allows you to install and manage WordPress with a completely free plan. Of course, this plan is super limited, giving you only 300 megabytes of storage space and around 3 gigabytes of monthly bandwidth, which, to be fair, is quite enough for really small projects. However, you can create any email accounts. Now, probably the biggest con here is that everything is super slow here. Not only the websites hosted here are slow, but the whole dashboard lags and just kind of stops working. But if you want a more tailored WordPress experience, Bluehost not only excels as a shared hosting provider, but the creators of WordPress themselves also recommend it. Let's look at what this provider can offer you. Bluehost is not hard to try out because it has a very convenient money back guarantee. To request a refund, you'll need to contact the billing department through phone or live chat. Don't worry, they're nice people and the last time I cancelled something, it was just a quick chat and that's it. Remember that the refund policy only applies to hosting services and certain add-on products, excluding monthly term services, domain registration fees, setup fees or additional service fees. I will repeat this. Make sure you buy hosting with a credit card since most providers, including Bluehost, can't refund other payment options. The last thing is that if you claim a domain name with a promo, you get around $10 deducted from that refund. Bluehost shared hosting plans start around $3 a month, and even after renewal, they jump to around $10 a month, making it one of the top WordPress hosting choices. A quick note here, Bluehost doesn't offer monthly or six-month plans. Their shared plans start from 12 months. You also get better pricing if you choose a year of hosting instead of free, making Bluehost a good option for our plan. And despite being slightly pricier, Bluehost packs in more features than Hostinger. The cheapest plan comes with only 10 gigabytes of SSD storage but has unlimited bandwidth, five professional email accounts, a free SSL certificate, and a free domain name for a year. Now, after trying to work with Bluehost, there is a big chance that you'll stop your search. You see, Bluehost has probably the easiest controls on the market. It's one of my top picks for user-friendliness. The intuitive control panel makes it easy to find everything you need quickly. Regarding WordPress, Bluehost provides a customized dashboard with staging tools, performance optimizations, and update management. It also has a tool to manage overall settings inside your WordPress admin area. However, if you are an old school user, for more advanced tasks, you can utilize cPanel to the fullest. Moving on to performance, to be fair and square, I've set up the same WordPress websites with all three providers. Bluehost results, the empty WordPress site took only 1.5 seconds, while the store fully loaded in 1.9 seconds. Sure, it's a few parts of a second slower than Hostinger, still, way better than Google's recommendation and virtually imperceptible difference to real users. Don't forget that these tests are done without utilizing any extra tools like Bluehost Content Delivery Network or Cache Optimization. What I want to say is that this provider gives you a few ways to optimize your web project. All right, so what if you want to develop WordPress designs and plugins or just mess around with this CMS? The best option here is the local WordPress tool. Local WordPress tool is completely free and allows you to create and develop WordPress websites quickly. And what's even better, Local allows you to generate live links to share your work with clients or friends online. This process might seem complicated, but don't worry. Local WP makes it super accessible even for complete beginners. You download the app, install a fresh WP, change a few settings, and then you can create a live link here. Everything else is just the same as using regular WordPress. It even includes useful extra tools like Link Checker and Image Optimizer. The last thing I want to mention is that Local is available for Windows, macOS, and even Linux. 
For testing and more advanced work with a premium provider, I recommend HostGator. It's a well-rounded hosting provider that won't break the bank but still gives you quite the package or resources. So the refund policy with HostGator is quite similar to Bluehost. You get your money back within 30 days, but this doesn't include administrative fees, setup fees, domain name purchases, or specific add-on services like SiteLock. Make sure you pay with your credit card since bank transfers aren't legible. But cancelling is actually easier here. You can either send a written notice to the HostGator support team or use a cancellation form in the user portal. Once you activate the refunds, you'll have to approve your identity, confirm your email, and confirm that you're okay with all your files being deleted. It can take a bit of time, but it is painless. Alright, let's look at the plans themselves. The cheapest one starts at around $4 a month but it is quite limiting. Similar to Bluehost, it allows you only one website and a modest 10 gigabytes of storage space. HostGator can be a bit restrictive in that regard. However, the bandwidth is also unmetered here, so you don't need to worry about it. I would say that the best value is on the baby plan. Increase the storage space to 20 gigabytes and allows you to host two websites. It also provides you with marketing credits, so it's a good choice for building a business or e-commerce. Now, let's delve into performance in this HostGator review. Over the years, I've heard mixed opinions about this provider's performance. However, after working with it, I can confidently say that HostGator is fast. Heck, even faster than Bluehost. Now, all three providers that I recommend today showed great results, easily surpassing that Google recommendation but HostGator in particular stood shoulder to shoulder with Hostinger, loading my WordPress site in just one second, and my custom e-commerce site in approximately 1.3 seconds. I honestly didn't expect the current state of HostGator to be this optimized. Before we wrap up, thanks for watching, and if this video helped you out, don't forget to like it, and of course, subscribe to the CyberNews YouTube channel. So, let's summarize this whole video. For free blogs or small site hosting, try WordPress.com or grab the best shared hosting plan from Hostinger. If you want to use regular WordPress, try 000 Webhost or grab a WordPress recommended plan from Bluehost. For development, give local a chance. And for working with cPanel, use HostGator's optimized plans. Well, this is the end, my friend. The very, very end. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can always find my discount links in the description if you want to get the best deal. If you want a more specific video about free providers or just a more in-depth Bluehost review, leave a comment down below. For anyone else, I'll see you all later.